Hi, my name is Britton Stiles, and I'm so honored to be accepting the Distinguished Alumni Award at COCA. I remember when I was a student there walking down the halls and looking up on the Hall of Fame, and I always wanted my face to be up there so I can be a part of another COCA child's life. I want to dedicate this award to my dear friend who passed this year, Lee Nolting. Uh, without Miss Lee, I would not be the performer and the dancer that I am today. I also want to send love and gratitude to Shauna Flanagan and Phil Whitmore as well for being a part of my journey. I would not be the music director I am today without Phil Whitmore, and I never would have even known what Coco was without Shauna Flanagan. So thank you to the theater, voice, and dance programs at Coco Center of Creative Arts, and I hope that I can inspire the next generation. Thank you, love, and peace to all. I am so grateful for everything that Coca gave me. I am so proud to be a Coca kid. Um, the dance program was just beyond anything I could have hoped for and completely changed the trajectory of my life. Um, introduced me to a whole new world of modern dance, to these amazing artists that gave me the ability to live through art to feel my soul expressed through art and to um, feel my feelings through art. I went through some big life changes while I was at COCA, some losses and having that incubator and safe space to have my COCA family and to dance through grief was just incredible. And I feel like I followed that thread, you know, just step by step for the rest of my career. And, um, it really gave me a baseline of artistry that I treasure. Hey everybody, Jonathan Savage reporting live here from the Imperial Theater um, on Broadway at the home of the show Bad Cinderella, uh, which I'm making my Broadway debut with. Um, and it is just such an honor to get to accept this award. Coca is, you know, where I got my start. You know, like back in, I think 2005, I auditioned for Annie for Phil Woodmore, and that changed my life. It changed my life, and the things I learned at that experience sparked the love for my career that I get to do now on Broadway every day because of the experiences that I got at COCA. Um, so I am so forever grateful to the program, to the, to the whole facility, everything that is COCA because you make people's dreams come true. Like you give kids the foundations to achieve what they want to achieve and to help them know that they can do it. Um, so if you have a dream, you can do it. Believe me there. Um, thank you so, so much. Um, and have a wonderful night of celebration. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Joy Forrest Mack, and ever since I can remember, I've been dancing at COCA, from being a founding member of Ballet Eclectica to finally earning my spot as a COCA dance member. I always knew that COCA was there to create amazing artists, but little did I know that I'd actually become a community activist from being at COCA, watching my mom's philanthropy work through COCA Cabana events, and just realizing that these artists and alumni come back to give back to Coca because it's what we are supposed to do. We have to be the change we want to see in the world. Shout out to Antonio and Curvin, Alicia Graf Mack and Daisha Graf for really showing us what black artists can do in this world. Uh, for the woman who has created me and really did believe in me, and not only me, she believed in everybody who walked through her doors, Miss Lee, I am so grateful that you really showed me I could be more than a dancer. And that is what this award means to me. It means being bigger than your circumstances, bigger than your room, bigger than an artist. Most importantly, just sharing the gifts that you have with the world. Thank you so much for this award. And I'm so honored to be added to the Hall of Fame. Thank you.